motivate five guys to step forward because I need those guys to identify who the best five is so we can get this moving. At some point, we got to start practicing for game one. They're not there yet, but at some point they do. Well, if you look at last year, the Jets offensive line, there was a rotation, uh, a big time rotation. Uh, and you have to solidify seven guys. With that being said, this is on Nathaniel Hackett and the offensive line coach. Th these guys aren't going to get more athletic. These are the guys you have. And I understand they're a month away, which is fine. No one's going to panic. You might have to move the pocket a little bit more than you'd like to in the past. But you've got to protect Aaron Rodgers. He's 39 years old. You cannot allow him to get hit. It's not even just about that. Over the last three seasons, Rodgers ranks 21st in the NFL in QBR when he is under pressure. Trask entered the game after Mayfield, but he struggled. He was sacked three times and threw an interception. Mayfield may have benefited from better offensive line play than Trask, who was pressured on 39% of his dropbacks. So, coach, Tom Brady, not there anymore. Life comes at you fast. Who, how, what's your approach if you're coaching the Buccaneers to this quarterback competition? Well, right now, I, I think it's Baker Mayfield. I'm leaning toward Baker Mayfield if I'm the head coach because he gives me the best chance to win right now. A division where basically the best team in the division due to the quarterback is the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, and I think Baker Mayfield has, has the, the uh, leg up in his job mainly because of his experience and he doesn't turn the football over. Look no further than the, this past preseason game. I think you also have to manage expectation realizing that that guy, whether it's Mayfield or Trash, is probably going to play lesser football than you used to see in the last several years here in Tampa. They have to find a quarterback of the future at some point, and I don't think either one of those guys are going to be it on this team this year. Yeah, a little bit of a reset year in Tampa. They're taking a lot of dead money on the salary cap because of the Brady years, which they would yeah. all tell you was worth it. They did win the Super Bowl. We are. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.